Hey everybody, welcome to my video on producer surplus and profit. Uh, in this video, I'm assuming that you've already been made familiar with the perfect competition model and the single price monopoly model. Uh, so I'm not going to get into big details about choosing optimal quantities and prices. I'll go through it a little bit, but I'm not going to explain any of it. What I am going to do is show you the difference between producer surplus and profit. So let's start with producer surplus. Producer surplus is the gap between the price and the marginal cost. So for each unit sold, if the price is greater than the cost of producing that unit, it creates producer surplus. Now looking at this graph here on the left with perfect competition, I know that my monopolist would choose marginal revenue equals marginal cost to get their quantity. And this is the quantity that they would produ produce. And let's shade producer surplus on here. It would be everything below the price and above the marginal cost curve. Well, if you're in a principles class, some principles classes have the calculus prereq. But there's a good chance that you don't know how to solve an equation like this. Because most principles classes that I've been in don't use calculus. So we need a shortcut because we don't have the mathematical tools calculate the area between those two curves. So let's ignore this option for now. It's not wrong, it's just not useful unless you know a lot of calculus. But let's take a different approach on producer surplus. Let's say producer surplus is equal to the quantity times the price minus the average variable cost. What this is doing is it's paying attention to the average level of variable costs. Well, the variable costs are generated entirely by marginal costs. By pulling the average level of your variable costs, you're actually going to be able to get the same information as you would have by integrating over all the marginal costs. So what I would do is I would find the average variable cost at the quantity that the firm wants to produce and my producer surplus then would be a rectangle with the base being the quantity and the height being the gap between the price and the average variable cost at that quantity. Now, how does this compare to profit? Well, profit is the quantity times the price minus the average total cost. And so the profit actually gets, it's smaller. Average total cost is higher than average variable cost whenever there's a fixed cost. So let's find the average variable cost at this quantity and trace it through all the way like this. That's my average variable cost at the optimal quantity. And then my profit is the segment of my producer surplus above the average total cost line. So just for clarification, the producer surplus is still that whole red area. I'm just expressing that the profit is only a segment of that area. Producer surplus still goes all the way up to the price. Now, what about for a monopolist? Does anything change? Well, our quantity and price does. Marginal cost equals marginal revenue. There's our quantity. And we'll drag that quantity all the way up to the price. And I can solve for the average total cost at that price. So there's the monopoly price. At this quantity, we can also solve for the average total cost. And we can solve for the average variable cost. And the profit would be the gap between the price and the average total cost, just that little blue rectangle. And the producer surplus would be all of that profit plus this space. There's your quick overview. They're very similar. They capture a lot of the same information. It's just that the profit also accounts for the fixed cost, and so profit's always lower. Uh, one last quick relationship to help you out. Profit plus fixed cost equals producer surplus. Profit usually subtracts fixed costs out. Producer surplus doesn't, and so that's how different they are. Anyway, uh, I hope this was helpful to you. If not, too bad, but thanks for watching anyway. Good luck, guys, and happy econing.